Hi guys, my name is Khuram and it's my third part about React State Management. In this part, I will cover Context API, which is another approach to manage the state in React applications. So let's see how we apply Context API in React projects. I have an example project where I have two components. One is employees list, which showing all the employees in the list. And the second is new employee.js. Which, which actually showing a form so I can add a new employee in the list. Beside these two components, I also have a state which is actually sharing by these two components. This is an acceptable solution because right now I am, I am having only two components. But this is not a good solution if I have many components because in this way I have to pass state to the many components in the form of props. So actually it's quite possible that a component having a state without using a single property of the state which is not a good solution so i have to apply another solution which calls context api let's see what we do in context api we create a file oh let's say employee context.ts and then we attach the state or move the state from app.js to the Context API. In this way, the state becomes a global state and it can be shared by any component by declaring himself or itself as a child of the context file. Now let's see how we do it in coding. This is my app.js file and it having state. So first I have to create a file so we can move this state to the context file. Let's create a folder, say context, and then create a file. Employees context that is. In this file, actually, I am I will uh, export two things. First, context, and the second is data. So let's export the first export uh, const, and it says uh, employee context. In context and uh, it will create context and it's a function and it's a part of react this is so let's create context from react now so the second thing which we, I have to export is data. So say export and it's const, we say employees provider L provider and it's a function and a function and it will turn something. I will discuss this later. Now let's move the uh, state from app.js to new context file. So delete this one and pass it here. And beside this one, I also will copy hook import. And let's mention here. Actually, instead of this one, just write here. Okay. Now, how to expose this data or state to the other components? This we can do that through employees contents. So let's do that. In return, that provider and anything which I will return in the form of value here, which, be, which will, it will be accessible in all children. So we are returning an array so just mention here now which components are actually children or child or children of this context api all the component which i will mention here will be children or actually instead of all writing all the component name i can write props.children or simply children and and just paste it as well 
that's it now we have created a contacts and we have to do this only once now before to use in any component child component we have to wrap all the component calls actually children component call with this provider so just copy this one and uh, before first import this one from contacts yes and just copy this one grab that's it now you know, these both components are actually children of contacts api or contacts file let's let's delete for a second and access the state in probe in employees list which showing all the employees i'm going to delete this one because i'm not using props anymore and just employees list this is the file and have to delete it as well and let's see context and it will return employees and set employees as a function and here we actually use the context and it's a function let's use this one import from react and the second thing is use context and what it will use which context it will use it will use this context employees context let's import this one from contacts employees and, and yeah that's it i think hopefully it's working now yeah so now we are using state in contacts api in our first component so let's double check it uh, this is our state let's delete this one yeah so it's actually working now in the same way i can use uh, contact state in my second component so I can use state in my other component as well, but I'm not going to implement this one because it will take some time. So result is we have updated our solution. Instead of passing uh, state in the form of props, we are having a global state and any component can use it. That's it. Now before to move, let's uh, talk a couple of points, actually two points. Should we use context API all the time? The answer is no, because if the solution or task is very small, for example, it contains only one or two components which sharing the same state, then we can pass state in the form of props. And it's more neat and clean as compared to context API. Second, should we use Redux instead of context API all the time? Or then the again, answer is no, because Redux comes with many boilerplate. And even uh, to change a small information, we have to change minimum three files. But this is not the case with Contacts API. It's simple as compared to Redux. And if the project is not uh, too complex, then we can use Contacts API. And even we can use multiple Contacts uh, APIs file or Contacts file. So different components can use different files. And at the end, we can use uh, uh, new hooks like use reducer to make context api more readable or more valuable that's it thank you so much for watching and have a very nice time